Project Dads. Um, it is about the end of October, and as you can see, I actually got my shop painted. So that's a great thing. That was something I was needing to get done, but today I'm going to do just a quick little project that uh, drives me crazy when I see people do this the wrong way. And so you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So a couple years ago, I bought these wheels. These are from a Mazda 3. And as you know, I have a Mazda Protégé 5. The same lug pattern, basically the same size wheels. <clears throat> and then my neighbor had a set of tires that he was getting rid of that were pretty decent. And so I put them on. Now these wheels are are peeling a little bit and I want to paint them and when I see people paint wheels and tires online they make it a lot harder than it needs to be and so I'm going to show you my quick tip to painting wheels now of course first I'm going to I'm going to sand them one of these wheels has a little bit of curb damage and I'm going to I'm going to file a little bit and smooth it out sand them and after that I will show you what I do to paint wheels. So they should look pretty nice. We'll see. Right, so since I'm running out of time, see this tape? Whoa. This is what I see most people using to mask off their tires so they don't get paint on the tires. And you don't want paint on your tires because if you've ever tried to remove paint from tires, it can be a pain in the butt. But I see people taping and taking all this time to tape when the solution it's a lot simpler and a lot cheaper. This paint is not cheap. I'm a cheap guy. These are 100 blank index cards. This cost 48 cents. You can use index cards. I have used cut up file folder. No matter what you get, um, like I said, I use index cards. I've used a lot of other things. Just to something thick like this works really well. And you're gonna see how well it works in just a second. I'm going to need both hands for this, so I'll show you. It's as simple as taking an index card, putting it in between the rim of the wheel and the bead of the tire, and going around. Now the cool thing is, if you're cheap like me, you can actually save these and use them later. You go all the way around, just like this and you will be able to, quote, mask off the wheel a lot quicker than you can with tape. A lot easier, and it protects, I think, fair, far, sorry, I think far better than using the tape because the tape lays flat. This catches the stuff trying to go over the edge. I just overlap them about a quarter each time. As you can see, if you're worried about that, you can get in deeper. And there you go. This is a 16 inch wheel and that took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It took maybe 20. Then I still use the blue tape though. I do tape off the valve stem because I don't want to get paint on that. But that's all you have to do. That took me less than a minute to put all of those in. And then when you're done, you pull them up. You can save them for later and throw them away. No peeling. It will leave just as clean a line, and I'll show you when I paint them. I thought I was going to get to paint them today, but i got to go pick up my son, and that's dad life. So, index cards. And I will show you later, when I get to painting them, just how it works. Alright, Project Dad, so I'm about to paint this wheel as a test before I do the rest of them, just to see if I like it. Um, I have washed the wheel thoroughly with simple green and water scrubbed it off now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use acetone i'm going to wipe it all down real good 
And then I'm going to put my cards around the rim. I'm going to use the tape to tape up the valve stem. And then I will be painting this wheel. All right, I've got the wheel ready to be painted. I've wiped it down with acetone, wrapped up the valve stem in tape, and put the index cards around. It took 15 index cards to wrap around it. And um, I'm really happy with the surface of the wheel after the acetone. It's almost a little bit tacky, ready to go. So we're gonna spray this real quick and see how this looks. I really should have already shaken this up. Didn't want to go too thick on that first coat, but it is adhering great. And I told you I was using this hammered finish, and you can see the texture in the finish. So, but on each additional coat, it smooths it out even more. Um, but the cool thing about this, I will have to peel the tape off right there. But when I'm ready, just take it off like that. You can see it's it will have a clear edge right there but I'm never gonna see that so I'm just gonna put that back for right now for a second coats coming up and um, I chose this color because I was looking for a bronze and they did not have a bronze in this paint locally that I really liked Everything looked a little bit too light, and I wanted something a little bit darker. And I wanted something gloss because it has better, better protection for the surface. So, um, we're going to see how this works. And uh, do another coat after about 15, 20 minutes. All right. Well, I completely forgot about the center caps. So, last night when Nelson came over, we... Uh, I wanted to see if these could be removed, and there's four tabs on the back. Now, all wheels are different, but they were set in there from the factory to always be there. So I had to break the tabs. I just pried them off. Um, actually, that one survived. Wow. But luckily, there is a locating hole right on the back of this, so that when I put these back on, I can just glue them in. And it'll be fine. But So I went ahead, I took them all off. And um, I have already sanded them and acetone them. And I'm going to spray them all real quick. I could have sprayed them on the wheel, but I didn't. <clears throat> so that's my good excuse for that. And again, I'm starting a video without having already shaken the can of paint. But it is also time for another coat on that. I think I'm just going to go with the two coats. There's a cool thing about wheels is if you ever have to touch them up, you can just repaint the whole thing. It's not like it's a whole lot. This is just a 16 inch factory wheel. Let's see if I can shake this. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I just sprayed the last one. I always get that started again because I'll tell you another pet peeve in a second. Hold 
Now I know you can't tell from this video, but this Rust-Oleum Hammered Brown looks more bronze than their bronze does, as far as a dark bronze. But um, here's a pet peeve of mine. People spray paint and then put it away. Always tip your can upside down and spray it out away from your project, hopefully. And you will hear the difference in the spray when the line is clear. Listen. Do you hear that? So what it does is the pickup straw is getting air and that keeps your tip from getting clogged up. My kids know this now, so when they use my spray paint, they all spray it out. That's why I hate when people test their spray paints in the store because you know that they're not sprayed out and you're very likely to get somebody's can that they tested and put back on the shelf. So uh, let's just take these. That's the cool thing about these. I don't have to wait. Let's just take these off. Let's see how this looks. So much easier than peeling tape. No paint at all on the wheels. Now all I have to do is wait for it to dry and take that. I tell you, I think that looks really good. I know it's hard to tell with the sun coming down behind us, but um, I'm ready to do the rest of them. I think I'm gonna be really happy with this. Well, evidently, I thought that was a good place to end the video. So it's been almost a year later, and I'm now editing that video. And these wheels have held up really, really great. Um, I barely ever wash my car, and as you can see, it's not that great anyway, but the wheels have done great. I do have a little bit of damage on this wheel right here, but that's because I trailered the car somewhere, and that's where I put the strap on it, and you know, it is what it is. But wheels looking great a year later paint has held up I might have to touch that one up but I'm not too worried about it and, um, so there it is not very often you get a how to do it and a one-year update in the same video but that's just how slow I am thanks a lot guys I'm gonna come back for more.